Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. The media bias towards the Castaneda fans and Newcastle as a city. It's disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. I'm here today because there were two huge stories yesterday of just this fan base and this city just getting run down into the dirt by these arseholes online. But yeah, we've got Gabby Bongahoe from TalkSport and we've got The Sun. Oh god. But again, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you get down there and subscribe. Smash that like with joy. Appreciate the support as always. Tomorrow, we'll be doing a new series of St. James Park for the game. Before the match, I'll be doing fan cans. Well, it's not about the game itself. It's more about me asking questions about the cast night, which you understand once I get the videos out. I'll be at the stadium two hours for the game. If you want to come meet me, I'll get my videos. Get in touch. And yeah, that's about it. Without further ado, my blood is boiling right now. And I'll show you. It will be the same with you guys. But let's get into it. We'll begin off by looking at the one from the Sun because it's just ridiculous. Who has the smelliest fans in the Premier League? What? How do you even conduct that? Did you get like sniffer dogs out just sniffing the different opposition fans or something? Like, how does that even work? Like, how do you even conduct that experiment? It doesn't make any sense. What is even the point of it in the first place? The only reason I got that out is just to annoy Newcastle fans or even fans at our clubs that are high up the list. There is no point in that article or oh, just to wind Newcastle fans up. It's dirty, it's disgusting, and it's from the sun, so it doesn't uh, surprise me at all. And that's one of the many reasons why I would never ever work with the sun. If they ever ask me to, any of my videos ever ask me to go on, nope, not happening. It's the sun, that's one of the ones that's banned. Like I said, I've got one more that's banned, but I even be in talks, but I don't actually mind talks, but I like the concept of talk sport how people have their opinions on there my only problem with talk sport being is that the people are on talk rubbish which i will get into just a bit with bongo hall but in terms of this though there is no need of this article you see all our newspaper articles come out mocking how a man this theory looks a couple weeks ago it's disgusting it's honestly vile they shouldn't be allowed to get away with that and they do because they go, oh, well, a man, a Stevie didn't complain, so it doesn't matter. Well, just, are you joking? And meanwhile, these same newspaper companies, they'll preach about mental health, they'll preach about suicide. It's dirty, it's scummy. And as soon as these newspaper articles are gone, the better, because I'm done with them. It's sick, it's vile, and it's not on. I mean, interesting start of the video. I haven't even got no bongo hole yet. I've already kicked off of the sun. I've had enough of these people. A bongo hole is even worse because he's an ex football player and he's on Talksport talking crap again. I'm sick of a bongo hole. This is the same guy that was up Steve Bruce's backside when he was at Newcastle. He's a good manager. These fans expect too much. We haven't won him 14 games this season. After the Arsenal match, we clapped and we applauded those same individuals every single week and let us down off the pitch. I personally didn't because I've had enough of them, but the majority of those fans applauded those players off the pitch despite the fact they've been rubbish this season. And you look at a team like Everton, booing every single one of them, the, the Effing and Jeff and the Everton players to get off the pitch. And we have expectations according to me. media. No, we don't. We want a team that's ambitious. We want a team that tries. And meanwhile, a bunger hole comes out. I'll get on to him in just a second. But he comes out and he wants to say, oh, you cast United. Nobody wants to live there. It's, oh, it's, no, 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 no. I'm getting into this guy now. The main talking point of a bunger hole's interview for the castle was saying that, if you had the choice to go to Brentford for 30 grand a week or Newcastle for 40 grand a week, every single player would go to Brentford because they wouldn't want to live in Newcastle. Oh, <laughs> that is a shocker. Absolute shocker by a bongo hole. So you're telling me, right, they would rather go to, no offence to Brentford fans, a smaller club that gets paid less money on a weekly basis, let's be real, has a smaller future in Newcastle United, they would rather go to Brentford because they don't want to live in Newcastle. What a load of rubbish, right? This is a guy that's a mediocre Premier League football player with no offence to Birmingham, lived in Birmingham. Again, I've never lived there, so I can't judge it. But again, no, you got to try to live in Newcastle or Birmingham. I don't know which one you would pick. I mean, this guy would to come out and say that he wouldn't want to live in Newcastle. I've been in most major cities when away games, when I'm going out or whatever. Newcastle, non-biased, I promise you, is one of the nicest cities I've been to. It is. It's got Everything's in one place. The city's in one place. The student accommodation, the pubs, the bars, everything's all together. And it is one of the nicest cities, it's cheapest where you go to somewhere like London, it's double truck the prices down there. And it's unbelievable. What well, you're telling me, geographically, they wouldn't want to go to Newcastle because of that. Are you winding me up? If there's more money on the table, if Newcastle's a bigger club on the table, they'll obviously go to Newcastle. There's there's no such thing as, oh, why would I live down in London, Newcastle? Unless your family's down there, you got some history of London. Like You wouldn't you wouldn't pick London for Newcastle if there's more money at Newcastle. Why would you? It's an absolute load of rubbish by a bongo. This guy's talking rubbish because he wants attention. It's simple as that. He's an average, bang average footballer. He was on 70 grand a week at Aston Villa. This guy was a daylight robbery of Villa. How did he got 70 grand a week? I would never know. What a joke he is. I've had enough of his crap. Without further ado, we'll see what some Newcastle United ex-players think about it. Ryan Taylor has spoken out about the topic here. I agree with that. Again, I do like the concept of talk sport. People aren't entitled to see what I want in it, but the only problem is, 
A lot of people talk rubbish. We talk about it all the time. Oh, I hated it. Hated it. And that's exactly what these people want. They love the attention. Keep Gillespie again. And I'm actually classic player speaking about it here. I mean, you don't. I don't even need to show you this stuff. You already know that. It's just a load of rubbish for a bongo host. Everyone's already kicked off about it. Jamie O'Hara, talks book, and uh, again, spot on. I mean, these people know what they're talking about. And you got like, so a bongo host would get the screen time and just talk rubbish because that's what he wants. It would give him a nice paycheck and that will help satisfy his needs because in 20 years' time, everyone will forget about him as a footballer because he was bang average and he was staying a living. And that's all i got to say about him. What a joke he is. And again, a couple weeks' time, he'll come up out of Newcastle and he's slag work because that's what he lives for, but... Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Big rant by me today and I'm sure a lot of Newcastle content creators or fans or whatever will come out and have their say because it's disgusting. I've had enough of it now. I've had enough of this crap. And yeah, it's not going to stop anytime soon because why would it? It benefits those people and they're not going to stop anytime soon. So I'll come out, I'll continue to react and I'll continue to sort of get the show out and I'll bury them down underneath because that's where they belong. Load of rubbish. But anyway guys, hope you enjoy watching. Tomorrow, match day vlog. Can't wait for it. Huge game. Prediction-wise, it has to be the win, hasn't it? I uh, predict us the win. Fingers crossed it happens. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Yes, I'll see you on the next one.